Hello, Steve White, Steve Arts 89. I've had a very weird morning. I'm very tired and stressed, and I'm wondering, questioning my sanity. Um, I just saw this on um, Facebook, though. Actually, no, that's not true. I saw something last night, and I didn't think too much about it. But apparently, Denise Crosby has hinted that she will be re re reappearing as Tasha Yar on the third season of Picard. Now, there was a little bit of a hint from, I think, Terry Metalis um, about this recently. But no one really thought much about it. But um, Denise, yeah, dropped a hint. She said, um, you'll see Tasha Yar, but I'm not going to tell you how. Um, and yeah, it confirms what executive producer Terry Metalis said about a nod. So there's many ways this could be done. They could have a photo of her. They could have her on a holodeck. They could have an alternate timeline and she's just standing on the bridge in the background like you know like she's always been there like she didn't pass away um she could have a more significant role in a different reality um they could have i was thinking they could have Sela, but that's that would be um denise coming back not tasha she said tasha so what is it going to be is it going to be picard looks at a photo um oh maybe he's still got the um the hol the holographic um image of her that um they had in the episode, it was like a little um, glass, like, um, diamond shape that um, you press the button and then there was a hologram of Denise standing there, um, sort of shifting her weight and then going back and it would go in a little loop. So maybe someone just picks that up and looks at it, something like that, and they maybe they had scanned her for a new hologram and it's, and it's, and it's her, so they can have um, a better quality one or something. There's many ways it could be done. And it's interesting, and it's good, because I, I really thought... I was really disappointed um, in Nemesis that she didn't appear as part of the Romulan Senate. That was the easiest thing to do. Um, or they could have had her actually come back. Because I think talk was that Sela was going to be the main Romulan character in Nemesis. And instead, the studios wanted a younger actress and they went with um, the girl from Starship Troopers um, who ended up playing the Romulan in that. Um, but... We all wanted Sailor, um, but Denise Crosby's not as young as the other actress, so I think that's what happened there. And then, when they did Picard Season 1, and they were dealing with the Romulan um, immigrants and everything, I'm like, why didn't they use um, um, Sailor? Why it wasn't Sailor having to, you know, defect to the Federation, you know, to survive and... How interesting would that be after all she's done to have her um, dealing with Starfleet? That would have been amazing. Didn't do it. And I thought, well, maybe they could do that this season and as an excuse to have her come back. And she could just be one of the Romulan Senate or one of the Romulans who are liaison with the Federation or something and, and actually have some peace and have her talk to Picard and say, I, okay, basically, we've sort of made peace with the Federation. You've accommodated us. You've helped us, blah, blah, blah. That could have been fascinating. Maybe they're doing something like that, but then again, no, it's Tasha Yar, not Sailor. Maybe we see Sailor as well. I mean, they've got Denise Crosby back, stick the ears on, who knows? Um, but this is interesting. And again, it's just making me feel more optimistic for season three. It sounds interesting, it sounds good. Everything I've heard is sounding good. I haven't heard anything bad yet. Now, except that Data's not coming back, Brent Spiner's coming back as another character. They could have had Data come back in the same way. Now, a lot of people argue about, oh, he's aging. I'm like, well, why couldn't they write that in that Data said, ugh, I, I'm tired of live, outliving, everyone, outliving everyone. I want to age, or at least appear to age, so people aren't uncomfortable around me. That, what? That's crazy. Why would they do that? They did that with Guinan, which they didn't need to, because Whoopi, because she gained weight, she didn't, doesn't look as old because her face is fuller and she doesn't have lines and wrinkles. So she kind of could have played herself looking slightly older, and no one really would have thought anything about it. But then they went and said, oh, no, I'm pretending not to age now because I don't want to make other people uncomfortable, so I'm pretending to age. Um, that was really stupid. Well, why can't they do that with Data then? If it's so stupid, why not just do it? If it works, and means the actor can keep playing the part and actually be able to explain it. So, and they're talking about de-aging her and all this sort of stuff, and if she did the hologram, it would be just small on screen, so they wouldn't have to worry about you know, her, her lines or anything like that. They could have just filmed her in her old uniform. She's still in shape. Or maybe she's just on screen as herself in some reality or 
I don't know. It's fun to speculate, and we'll see soon. But um, I've been talking for five minutes. So I got to stop. I'm gonna go. Feel free to share, like, comment, su su um, subscribe. I really love Denise Crosby, and she's the only member of the original Star Trek and Star Trek Next Generation still living that I haven't met. Besides, um, of course, Whoopi Goldberg, who was a guest star technically, but you know, um, I met Diana Maldor. Um, I've met all the other cast members except her, and she came to Australia the, about a month before I started going to one of the fan clubs. She visited the fan club, and that appears in um, Trekkies 2. I could have been in Trekkies 2, but I missed it by a month, and I didn't meet her, and I don't think she's been back since. But um, I really want to meet her, and hope I meet her one day, and it would be nice to see her in Picard, Picard Season 3. I'm going to go. Thanks. Bye.